Kahla, Yahweh Bashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, all praises to the Father and His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Christ. We are the Israelites. The Bible speaks of we're out here to prophesy against this wicked nation and all the associated countries therein, and more importantly, to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the so called blacks, natives, and Hispanics. We're going to open up with um, actually Colossians uh, 3 16 through 17, as we normally do. Colossians 3 16 through 17. There you go. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Uh, Let the word of Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, uh, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, uh, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Whatsoever we do in word or deed, we must do so in the name of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, all right, day in and day out, read. Giving thanks to God in the Father by Him. Come on, giving thanks to God in the Father by Him, having a spirit of uh, uh, thankfulness, all right, having a spirit of appreciation, having a spirit of reverence even, all right. Let's go ahead and get the book of Sirach, um, uh, chapter 1. I'm going to start from the top. Sirach 1 verse 1. Yeah, All wisdom cometh from the Lord and is with him forever. Who can number the sand of the sea and the drops of rain and the days of eternity? Who can find out the height of heaven and the breadth of the earth? And the deep and wisdom. Come on, come on. All right, so all wisdom comes from the Most High God, all right? We got to understand that we can't be wise in anything that we do if we're seeking wisdom outside of the words of the Most High God, all right? All right. All right? The Most High God has ordained His Word to literally uh, 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 hold wisdom, and, and there is no other source on this earth that you can actually find that, all right? You can only find it in this Word, all right? Read. Wisdom hath been created before all things, and the understanding of prudence from everlasting. Con, con. The word of God, most high, is the found, fountain of wisdom, and our ways are everlasting commandments. Con, con. The word of God is the fountain of wisdom. The fountain of wisdom, all right? We can't find ourselves searching for it within philosophy. We can't find ourselves searching for it, uh, you know, in Time Magazine, whatever it is, if it's outside of the words of the Most High God, you're not going to have wisdom, right? Read. To whom at the root of wisdom been revealed, or what known her wise counsels, unto whom at the knowledge of wisdom been made manifest, and who hath understood her great experience? All right, so we got a question here, basically saying, who has that ability to have this wisdom? Who has the ability to even have the understanding, right? And we already know that that's the nation of Israel, his chosen people, God. okay? All of his children that actually put forth these wise words into action, all right? You get that understanding even by just simply walking out the laws, statutes, and commandments, read. There is one wise and greatly to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. He created her and saw her and numbered her and pour her out upon all his works. Con, con, con. So the scriptures is let it be known that wisdom is, is, is simply known amongst all of those that simply walk it out, all right? All right, read. She is with all flesh according to his gift. She is with all flesh according to his gift, all right? So according to the nation of Israel, whatever your gifts are, whatever your talents are, all right, that wisdom is going to be with you according to those special attributes that the Most High has blessed you with. All right, read. And he hath given her to them that love him. And he hath given her to them that love him. You show that you have love for the Most High God by simply keeping his commandments, God. by simply walking it out, okay, keeping him on the forefront of your mind day in and day out, all right? That's when the Most High is going to impart wisdom unto you and understanding. But That's right. We got to be obedient. We got to show the Lord that we're actually worthy of such a thing, all right? Because this is the greatest treasure that we could ever ask for, all right? This is exactly what King Solomon asked for throughout the Psalms, all right? He had asked for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And because that very re request was a wise thing, the Most High had granted it to him, okay? Above all things in the earth, above 
riches, above fame, above glory, above all these things, the Most High God granted that um, request, and he also gave him riches. He also gave him wealth, etc. Okay, read. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. The fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart and give it joy and gladness and a long life. Con, con, so the fear of the Lord is gladness and a long life. We can't be expecting to live long if we don't have that fear of the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Shai, all right? We're just going to be walking around simply waiting on judgment because of the lack of that fear, the lack of that reverence, all right? The lack of that respect. The Most High is going to let it go on for a short little time, and then he's going to cut you down. Con. That's right. All right. Want to hear Keep going. That was the 12. Con, con, keep going. Con, yeah. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. Con, con. So whosoever feareth the Lord, they're going to find it going well with them in the last, all right? So you're on your deathbed, you actually live out a life to where you actually fear the Most High, you show it through your actions, then that's going to go well for you, all right? But for the wicked, it's going to be a totally different story, all right? You're going to, you're going to have to expect suffering. You're going to have to expect uh, great pain, all right? Calamity, etc. all right? So you will be wise to have that fear of the Most High God, right? And show it by your actions. Show it by simply walking it out. Read. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And oh, it's like it. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you want to get wise, you have to show that fear of the Lord. Just like the scriptures are saying. Read. And it, it was created with faithful in the and it was Shalaki. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. She hath built an everlasting foundation with men, and she shall continue with their seed. Con, con, so she hath continue with their seed or she will continue with your seed so once you have children you gotta understand that wisdom is gonna be uh, imparted unto the next generation and the next generation according to your obedience all right all right read to fear the Lord is fullness of wisdom and filleth men with our fruits con con so if you want to be filled with good fruits right you have to have that fear of the most high God all right if you want to have a prosperous life you have to you have to be fair uh, fearful of him that can destroy you, okay? Not only just your body, but your soul as well. Read. She filleth all their house with things desirable, and the garners with her increase. The, the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are the gifts of God, and he enlargeth their rejoicing that loving. God, God, so if you just simply walk out these laws, statutes, and commandments, all right? Wisdom is going to fill your house with, with, fill your house with peace. It's going to, it's going to fill your heart with, with joy, all right? Etc. all right? Keep reading. Wisdom rated down skill and knowledge of understanding and exalted them. Read that again up. Wisdom rated down skill and knowledge of understanding and exalted them to honor that holder fast. Con, con, so if you actually keep wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, you're going to be filled with, 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 um, you know, that great esteem, you know what I mean? You're going to be filled with not only the spirit, but admonishment amongst men, all right? You know, even your brethren, all right? Read. Wisdom, all right, verse 20. Con. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord, and the branches thereof are long life. Con, con. The root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. Once again, the scriptures keep repeating it because this is a theme that has to be absorbed by our people, all right? It's something that can't be overlooked, but it's something that, necess that has to necessarily um, um, be withheld, all right? All right, read. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins, Con. and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Con, the fear of the Lord drive away sin. And where it is present, it drives away wrath, all right? So if you don't want to find yourself, um, you know, in a downtrodden state or, 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 you know, all messed up, okay, understand that you have to have that fear of the Lord and understand that you got to walk out his laws, statutes, and commandments. Shalom, brother.
Yeah, I think I have one. You guys gave me one the other day. All praises, all praises. Yeah, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm hooked on, I'm hooked, I'm spread on that. God, God. And I, I appreciate you, brothers. Thank God, you. God. You got a quick moment for the word? Uh, yeah. Uh, God, God. All right, all right. So, have you ever learned your biblical identity? Uh, biblical identity. Uh, let's see, no, not exactly. No. Okay, all right. So, what is your ethnicity? Ethnicity. If I knew what that means. Um, nationality. Yeah. Nationality. Yeah. It's black. Black, black, Afro, all right. African American. Con, all right, so Brother. have you ever. All I'm, praises, I'm, all I'm, praises. Uh, I'm urban. Con, all right, so have you ever learned that the so called blacks, natives, and Hispanics are actually the very children of Israel, the nation of Israel? Have you ever learned that? Uh, I think I've heard something about that, yeah. Con, con, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the scriptures okay. and we're going to read some things that will parallel to our identification, if you will, all right, or, or, or some of the clues that'll give us a hint as to who we are, all right, so let's first start off with uh, Isaiah 1 and uh, 3, okay. Isaiah 1 and 3. Yeah, I like Isaiah, I like John, I like Peter, Con, Con, I like, all uh, King Solomon, uh, there's several of them, you know, that Con, I go Con. by, but John is the most powerful in the, the scripture. All oh, praise. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up with that. Isaiah one and three. Shalom. Shalom. Isaiah one verse three. Wait, wait, hold on. You got a quick moment for the word? I was just reading this guy last night. Okay. Okay. What's your ethnicity, brother? I'm a Navajo. All right. All right. So that's the tribe of God. All right. Have you ever learned your biblical identity according to the scriptures? I died twice. Huh? I met him, and I met the other guy. All right. All right. All right. But. We're gonna be focusing on you right now, all right? So you say you're Navajo, which will be a so-called Native American, right? Yeah. All right, so right now we're reading in the scriptures who the very Navajo are and the so-called blacks are, all right? All right, so I was just telling this brother that he is an Israelite, all right, out of the nation of Israel, and you are as well. I don't even know if you learned that. I come from the Hebrew side. That's what my grandmother said. God, God, God. And you as well, sis. What's your ethnicity, sis? Black, okay, okay, so according to the scriptures, all right, you will be also from the nation of Israel, all right, particularly the tribe of Gad, you two, and Aslakia, uh, uh, the tribe of uh, 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 Judah, and you will be the tribe of Gad, all right, so we're going to get this scripture right here, all right, and see if you guys can identify, all right, Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 verse 3, uh, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. All right, so the scripture saying the ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib, right? All right, read. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. It says, but Israel doth not know. It says, my people doth not consider. All right, so have you ever had that thought in your mind, like, who am I? You know what I mean? Because yeah, scriptures I, is I, put. I, I, yeah, yeah, right. I, 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 I wondered that a lot, uh, but it's in the back of my mind now. God, okay, all right, so have you ever wondered why you had to even ponder who you are when all these other nations around the world they actually know exactly who they are and where they come from, all right? right? Just like the scripture yeah, and says. Background. Stick around, my brother. At least grab a flyer, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, con, con, con. All right, well, let's do some research, man. You know, you keep that flyer, all right? Get in touch with us if you got any type of questions. You know, we'll answer them with biblical. Okay. All praises, all praises, all praises. All right, well. You just make sure you remember that, all right? Okay. All right. Uh, you got for me? Or? All right, so yeah. Um, let's get uh, Jeremiah 17 to 4, right? Yeah. Jeremiah 17 to 4, right? This is a part of the reason why we have to even think about who we are to this very day, all right? right. We're we the, we the oldest nation on the planet, but something happened throughout history that caused us to forget who we are, right? And this is the account, all right? Read. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And now, even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. All right, all right. So it says, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. All right? Does this sound familiar? It sounds like something that our people were plagued with, right? Right. All right, so what is our heritage? Our heritage is, uh, I don't really know. That's, and, that's, and that's a problem, okay? Yeah. Because for us to be the most oldest nation on the planet, we got to know what our heritage is, right? But it's actually found right here in these scriptures, right? So we're gonna, well, 
In, well, yes, Isaiah, all the prophets are a part of our heritage, and the okay. words that they are speaking is that very thing. So you're right, brother. So he's going to give you an example of what that heritage is. He's, he's going to actually read the very heritage right here. All right, so listen close. So Rock 24, verse 23. Right. All of these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Okay, so all these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Okay. Okay, understand that the nation of Israel is the only people on the planet that ever made a covenant with the Most High God. You right? have a Bible for me, like a New Testament? Like, you don't have to do a little New Testament? No, we don't have any handouts. We're reading them right now. Maybe so. I could get one at the library or something. We like possibly that. could. Okay, yeah, we just. I'll try it. Yeah. All right, all right, so just listen up, listen up. Okay, read. Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage. Unto the congregations of Jacob. Con, even the law which Moses commanded for a heritage, right? So you're familiar with the story of Moses, how he led the nation of Israel out of captivity in Egypt. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, okay, so our job. That's right, that's right, that's right. So that's, that's right, so what our job is to do is to teach our people who they are because these churches right now, okay, they are not teaching the blacks, natives, and Hispanics that they are actually those very people that were led out of captivity in Egypt. Where is you guys church? We are the church, all right? Uh, you know, if you yeah, got a flyer. I am a church too. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. For a That's right. That's right. But, but you got to understand that we can't be perfect unless we are walking out our heritage, thus keeping the laws of our own God, all right, because he is the God of Israel and none else. Let's get that from 12, 2 and uh, 27, all right, because this is the scriptures literally illustrating the fact that the Most High God is only dealing with the so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics, all right, okay. people that society calls indigenous, all right, people um, that are called minorities, all right, uh -huh. yeah. all right, so listen up, my brother. I got it. Oh. Sure. Oh. What? Right, right, right. Right. Those are just simply people from our nations, nation that have been unrighteously murdered, all right, by these other heathens, all right? So that's why what we're sharing with you is so important because you need to understand what, what you have to do. We need to understand what we have to do to get up out of that mess, all right? Because we're literally living out the same curses that the Most High God has placed upon his children, all right? For a reason, though, all right? It's, it's to correct us, all right? And this is proof, all right? Because he's only dealing with us. So, read what you got. Joel yeah. 2, verse 27. Right. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. Okay, so it says, and ye shall know I am, I am in the midst of Israel, right? And I am the Lord your God, right? He wasn't talking to everybody, all right? He says he is in the midst of Israel. So he didn't say he's in the midst of China. He didn't say he's in the midst of Australia. Okay, none of these do Exactly, because our people had taken that covenant with the Most High God. All right, so very good, very good, all right? All right, so read it off. And that I'm the Lord your God and none else. And he's the Lord our God and none else. But Christianity, mainstream religion, is going to teach that he's dealing with all people. But that's not what the scripture says, my brother. You see what I mean? All right. And my people shall never be ashamed. And our people shall never be ashamed. Why should we never be ashamed? Because all too often in the society, we want to we want to fight for the salvation of the heathen. We want to fight for the salvation of our own uh, oppressors. We want to fight for the salvation of the people that hate us. All these other nations, when the Most High God just said through his prophet Joel that he is in the midst of Israel and what? And none else. So the God of all creation, my brother, is only dealing with us as a people, the so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics. But society isn't going to teach us that, right? So it's up to us to get back into this this book, which is our heritage, which is what Moses commanded to be our heritage, so we can get our lives right, come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. It is, it is. God, God. And this is also the King James Version as well. But notice that this is a book that you might not be very much familiar with. Apocrypha. Apocrypha. Okay, now this is 14 books that has been literally taken out of our own history book, all right? Our own law book, okay? 14 books that the churches are not uh, uh, um, uh, um, teaching out of, 
are not implementing because they know that there's things in there that goes contrary to mainstream religion. And they're trying to hide our identity, all right? Go ahead and just grab that here. So, I gotta get to the All right, all right. All right, my brothers, look, you've got a fire. Understand that you are the very Israelite that the Bible speaks of. It's about time for us to come back to our original heritage, all right, and keep God's laws, all right? We're out here every Sabbath, all right? Come up and dialogue with us, and we'll give you answers to all your questions according to the scriptures, all right? All right, Shalom. All right, God, God. It seemed like brother was a little too impatient, but all praise to the Most High. At least he's got some seeds planted in him. So, so, um, See, so I mean, with that, I'm gonna yield my time. You know, keep the law, statutes, and commandment, Yasharada. All right, understand that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be imparted to those that stay in obedience to the Most High God. Right. With that, I'll say, Kwam Yasharada. Kwam Yasharada.